This video highlights the OData capabilities in cloud application integration. Open Data Protocol, or OData, is an OASIS standard that defines best practices to build and consume RESTful APIs. You can use OData and application integration connections to expose data as a service. OData consumers, like Salesforce Lightning Connect, can then use the REST endpoint URL to access OData streams over the internet. In Cloud Application Integration, you can enable OData in an application connection to expose data as a service, define the allowed users and groups that can securely access the data, disable access to cloud endpoint URLs for increased data security, view the OData API metadata with the Swagger URL, view the data that the OData service returns with the service URL, and you can embed the OData service URL in OData consumer clients like Salesforce to consume the data that the OData service returns. Let's take a closer look. In Cloud Application Integration, you can view connections on the Explore page. Let's look at this JDBC connection that connects to a MySQL database. Here's where we can see that the connection uses OData to expose data as a service. Enabling OData Cloud Access makes the source data available through a secure agent endpoint URL and a cloud endpoint URL. So if you have a connection that runs on a secure agent machine or a secure agent group, you'll want to disable the cloud access option. When these fields are configured, they restrict access to data from the OData service to specific users and groups. This is where you define the MySQL database and the name of the schema that you want to access. This connection is already configured, so now we'll show you how to use the connection to expose data from a MySQL database through an OData service. Let's publish the connection. Great, it was successful. So now we'll go to the Metadata tab and check out the process objects that the connection generated. Here are the tables in the MySQL schema. From here, we can go to the Properties Detail page, and we see the OData Service URL and OData Swagger URL that the connection generated when we published it. You can use the OData Service URL with parameters to view the data that the OData Service returns. And you can use the OData Swagger URL to view the OData API metadata. Let's take a closer look. We'll copy the OData Swagger URL and paste it into a browser tab. And we can see the MySQL tables and the table operations. Now let's save the Swagger content as a file so we can import the file into an OData client like Postman. Now we'll import the Swagger file into Postman to view the OData API metadata. Here we see a collection that we can expand to view details about the tables in the MySQL schema. You can also see the operations associated with the OData service. You can perform GET and POST operations on the customer and invoice tables to read and insert data. Customer ID and invoice ID are fields in a table record. You can perform GET, PATCH, and DELETE operations on a record to read, update, and delete data based on these fields. You can use the BATCH action to perform bulk operations. Now we'll show you how to use the OData service URL with parameters to view the data that the service returns. Let's use a GET operation to view the top two records from the customer table. The OData service URL appears here. Clear all the parameters except the top parameter and enter two as the parameter value. Here we'll enter the authentication details and send the request. Great, we received a response that includes the top two records from the customer table. We also have a link to view the next page of records with the skip parameter set to two. This means that when we view the next page of records, we should see records three and four, the next records after skipping records one and two. As expected, we see records three and four in the response. To access data from the OData service through a browser, we'll copy this URL and paste it into a browser tab. Enter the user credentials from the JDBC connection, and we can see the MySQL data that the OData service returned. Next, we'll show you how to embed the OData service URL in Salesforce. In this example, 
We'll show you how to use the OData service URL with Salesforce Lightning Connect to connect to the MySQL data source and view data in real time. First, we'll log into Salesforce and look at the MySQL data source. We've already configured the properties for the data source. Here we specify the OData service URL that consumes the MySQL data that the OData service returns. We've also enabled server-driven pagination. Now we'll validate and synchronize the MySQL data source. Great, we can see the tables that the OData service returned. And that's it. In this video, we showed you how to enable and configure OData in a cloud application integration connection, view the OData API metadata with the Swagger URL, view the data that the OData service returns with the service URL, and embed the OData service URL in a client, such as Salesforce Lightning Connect, to consume the data that the OData service returns. For more information, see the documentation links in the description, visit our communities and support hubs, or check out our website.